Now, what are the points that are said to be in favor of privatization? It reduces the burden on exchequer of loss making PSUs. We all know that in the uh, when India had attained uh, independence and for the next 40 years, when everything was mostly in the hands of public sector, there were many public sector enterprises which were running in losses. So, they were a burden on exchequer. There was a lot of, they were in losses, the cost was very high and they were a burden. When it was transferred to private sector, that burden was reduced and their efficiency also improved. It also helps the profit making earning uh, PSUs to modernize and diversify. It gives them the facility of modernizing and diversifying their areas of work. It also makes PSUs more competitive. They can, the resources that are available, they can use them in a better way and then they have a competition to, uh, with the private sector and they perform more efficiently. Efficiency is also improved because political interference is reduced and the private sector with its profit motive works, they perform in a better manner. It also revived six units. The six units that were there, they were given to private sectors and uh, with their investment, they made it into profitable units. So it has been good for those six units also. And market forces also force the PSUs to be efficient. In the last 20 years, the pu public sectors have also started performing well and they are also earning profit. But what are the favors against privatization? It encourages monopoly, big houses, they try to capture the market. It promotes monopoly. The power gets concentrated in the hands of few. Private enterprises or private entrepreneurs are not interested in buying sick units. So the sick units, it is that the profitable units, the earning units that can be sold off easily by the government sector. But the units that are sick, they are not easy to sell because private sector is not willing to take those. Then it is a lopsided development because the private sector is only interested in investing money and time and energy in projects that give quick returns. They do not like to take in projects which are which have long gestation period. So it, uh, the development tilts to one side. So it is mostly a lopsided development. Private sector is interested in where they get quick returns. They are not interested, as I said, in investing where the returns will be delivered late or where the, the gestation period is long. It not upholds social justice and public welfare. They are profit driven. So they work more with the uh, motive of earning profit. There are WTO commitments as well. There are, we cannot avoid, because of the WTO commitments, we cannot avoid foreign players. So for that purpose, our, in order to compete with the foreign players, it is only the big houses that are the best bet. So we, there will be promotion, if we talk about promoting private sector, we will be promoting those big houses only. So it will again encourage monopoly. Then it is said that public sector, since it had to perform in a framework, they were given, they had to perform under restrictions. That was why they were not able to perform as the private sector is performing. Like for private sector, it is said that they do not, they should not have government restrictions. But public sector, there are government restrictions. So they have not been able to perform. So it is that they should, if, a competitive environment and a free hand is given to the public sector, they can also perform as well as the private sector. So, privatization itself is questionable. These are the reasons that are given against privatization.